Hatep and Ma'at. That means I'm offering you truth. I'm As Nefaka. I'm the mother of Tehuti Ma'at. And today I feel very called to share some words of insight and encouragement around being your true self. Okay, because unfortunately a lot of us are in a state of confusion around our true identity, our authentic state of being, right? And sometimes we want to contort and change ourselves because we're afraid really of expressing the truth. Um, not only true words, how we really feel, what we really think, but also just being who we really are inside and allowing that to radiate out into the world, which is being authentic, right? Being true to yourself is being true to what's inside of you. And a lot of us are afraid of being true to what's inside of us because we feel like people are gonna look at us like we're crazy. We feel like we're gonna lose people. We feel like people are gonna judge us. Um, or maybe it's like root level things like our livelihood. If we say certain things, um, you know, it may impact our livelihood. It may change the access that we have to certain things. And there's so many other reasons. I mean, <laughs> in this world, at this current stage of degenerate, um, you know, it's just a reality where for the most part, everything is designed in the construct um, systemically to keep us from being true, right? To have us exist in a state of falsehood that can put us in a vulnerable position to be um, extracted from, right? Like literally we're enslaved in a spiritual sense to not even feel free enough to be who we are, right? And that's not to mention how most of us don't even know. We're not even conscious of it, right? We're, we're not aware that we're not being who we are um, because we've you know, swallowed the conditioning and the programming hook, line, and sinker. So we're not really fully clear on the reality that we're not existing in that. So we don't know why we don't feel fulfilled. We don't know why we're feeling um, depressed and all of the other things, right? We just, many of us are in a position of numbing ourselves to it, you know, whether that's just playing video games all day or um, taking drugs or intoxicating ourselves with other stimulants, even if it's like caffeine or, um, you know, alcohol. There's so many different things, right? that have us in a state of distraction. These devices, right? These phones and we get caught up in this whirlwind of a vortex that distracts us and pulls us out of ourselves because we're really afraid of that. Now, this is not something most of us are conscious of, but I felt really strongly that I need to say this because there are many people who are, and if you're aligned to this video and you're still watching, you're probably one of them and you wanna be free. You wanna be free to be exactly who you are. You wanna use your voice. You want to just express yourself and, or just explore and search and find what that is, right? Which requires a same level of detoxification as, you know, expressing it, right? You first have to go in and do the journey inside, right? So I wanna do some work around how to find your authentic voice so if that's something that you're interested in and you're not a member of Tehuti Ma'at, then I would love for you to just send a DM and you can just say that you're interested so that you are noted because a lot of our workshops and a lot of the communications are kind of like militia exclusive for people who are members of the Tehuti Ma'at militia. But um, I'm, I want to do more public offerings to also show people what it is that we're doing inside um, of the organization inside of the instrument and inside the arc right the african rehabilitation center which is our collaboration with the african war college um also known as the amos wilson collective so i think that it's very important to find your authentic voice but when it comes to just expressing yourself as you are even if you don't if you haven't found your authentic voice 
there's a reality to just being able to express yourself as you are in the moment, you know, and not judge that and trust that, trust the divinity of that, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of all how you want to be and what you see for yourself and what you're becoming, right? To be present enough with exactly where you are and allow yourself to be that without shrinking that and being afraid of how other people are going to feel about it, how it's going to affect the life around you. Because what you really need to remember is the world is changing. We're moving through cycles and the cycle that we're in right now is a degenerate cycle. So it's a, a downward spiral to come back up and go around, right? And eventually those people who feel away and all of that, like you, you have to look at it as an asset instead of a deficit, as um, Mama Joy would say, right? Dr. Joy Hardiman. Shout out to Mama Joy at Ancestral Artworks. Um, but you got to look at it as an asset instead of a deficit because the people that you lose from being who you really are don't need to be in your life. The opportunities that you lose, the things that you shed, let's put it that way, the things that you shed that lighten you up when you are in truth, because the truth, right, in my eye, it's about keeping your heart light as a feather, right? So when you lighten your heart by being honest with yourself, by being honest with the world, by being your authentic self and being true, by being honest with others, by speaking the truth. Um, these are the things that free you. It lightens you up and it allows you to attract what is in alignment with who you really are. So you won't be miserable. You won't be depressed. You'll find fulfillment as you begin to align with who you are, but you have to express that. You have to literally create that vibration in the world. You have to see that. You have to think that. But you have to be it. That's what we're existing for. We're called human beings because the being part is essential. It's not just innate, right? Especially when we're in a degenerate cycle where everything is corrupted and chaotic and just literally false. So to be in opposition to that is to be in truth. So yeah, there are people you're going to lose. There are things you're going to lose. There are people going to think you're crazy. But eventually, those people are going to phase out. Because one, eventually, if it's it, they're exactly where they need to be. That's the other thing you have to recognize. It's none of your business. They're exactly what they need to, where they need to be, doing exactly what they need to be doing. You have to focus on your road, on your path. And your path has to be true. So the moment you step onto your path instead of somebody else's path, because that's what the authenticity actually is, is you being on your path. You'll notice nobody's in your lane. The shit gets busy and messy and crowded when you're in the wrong lane, when you're following the crowd and you're trying to do what everyone else is doing so you can fit in because you're afraid of standing out or you're afraid of being judged or afraid of just not being accepted, you know? And the reality is you're perfect exactly as you are in your truth, in the truth, right? Because really the truth is whole. We don't each have our own truth. It just is what it is. And if it's whole, that means every single thing is making that a reality, right? But being able to discern for yourself what is false is the journey. You know, and there are doorways you have to walk through. And when you move through certain doorways, you can't go in with certain things. Or those things will really keep you on the other side of the door. So I say that to encourage you to speak the truth that you feel. To follow your heart, right? To lighten up your heart. To express what you have to express because we're all connected. And you holding yourself back. We like to say black. Don't hold yourself black. <laughs> you holding black is you not only limiting yourself, but you're li limiting the whole cycle uh, or slowing down, right? Stalling our cycle of transformation and changing the conditions on the planet.
okay so it's very important for you to honor what's actually real to you how you actually feel what you really think what you really feel what you really know intuitively especially and who you really are the things you really enjoy and be honest about that and that's how you align with what actually is in alignment with that what connects with that what's going to support you in that what's going to take you further into your authentic dream right but if you're not being true to your own self then you're going to attract um lies falsehoods into your life so i just want to encourage you um with this message i just felt to come here and say that i'm having a beautiful um just taking in beautiful day just taking in the sunlight right now and watching my crops grow they're all getting pretty big right now I'm gonna be plowing the land tomorrow and it's been raining consistently beautifully every day um and we're so thankful for that because the rain season for us is not all the time um so you know when it doesn't rain often it only rains once one time during the year you really appreciate it in a different way um and you see the the land geb nature come alive because you know the rain just brings life right water is life so yeah I hope that this message reaches you exactly as you need to be. Well, I know it will reach you exactly as you need to be, but I hope it reaches you in truth. All right. Power.